playing with your friendulum gland? You like that? <laughs> What's a friendulum gland? <laughs> 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 What's a fendulum gap? <laughs> friends that laugh, we're friends that shout. Sometimes we don't know what we're talking about, but that won't stop us. Nothing can stop us. Four, as Kanye said, do you think I do all the shit to push for rap four? Oh uh, yeah, I think that. Um, I think he said that. Well, somebody did. I know that. Jay, was it Jay? No, it's Kanye. I think it might be Kanye. He was talking shit. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah. also talking. But uh, rap fours are terrible. They look terrible. A horrible car. Yeah. Yeah. That but, could go though for five hundred thousand yeah. miles, no problems. Yeah. But you're in rap four. Yeah. When I was twenty-seven, I dated a. She, well, no, I was 21. She was 27. Uh, we we were together for a few years. She did, she drove a Rav Four, and, and then she sold did it. Kill your another. boner? No, nah, she loved it. I liked how she loved it. She was like, "Dude, it's a great car. I don't care. It's awesome." So that was cool. I think the hottest chicks drive Jeeps. If I see a Jeep and the windows down, tops off, I'm like, you know, that's a bad you notch. Know, in you that got thing. all caught up in the sauce, dude. You're a Cuda. You think? Yeah, that's some. That's some. <laughs> no, if you see a Jeep lifted and it's a, a tank top, I'm like, she gonna have some heavies. Yeah, you put the same girl in another car. Nah, you, know, you drive by her, bro. Nah, nah that's it's Tesla or Jeeps, man. bro. Te a white Tesla or Jeeps? White Teslas, dude. Really? My winner goes boy. What, dude? Yep. Teslas? I I don't like Teslas. No, they're for stupid. No, people. I I know you don't like them, but I'm just saying, like, I I, I just. I bought a TRX to run over Teslas. Wait, so wait, that TRX that you have. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it's it, not I, for you. Didn't you already have one? No, I had a Raptor years ago. Oh, I had right. so many issues, though. So that one's new. This is new, yeah. Okay. This is a, this is a Ram, Ram truck. The I other saw one's it outside. Ford. Got yeah. it. You saw it. No, you, you saw it. Can't miss it. You yeah. saw it. It's tan and it's really big. It's big. Yeah. So um, do you think that you should call it Chris Lee's penis? <laughs> Because tan <laughs> and, and big, really big, yeah, and it's loud, dude. I I sometimes just tan my penis. I just go out. I leave it out. I'm inside, and I just put it outside. Like a bearded dragon. Do you ever? But you you still tan your soul. Remember that was your no, thing. No, I for did a while? that. I did that for a bit. It's nice though. Then why'd you stop doing it? If you got a lot of um, because I moved, and then I just you don't have the sun. No, I just I don't know. You just forget stuff when you move. You know. Yeah, it gets out of your routine. When you move, it gets out of your routine, and then I wasn't sun in my bum hole anymore. And then was your wife like, babe, I thought we were going to put our assholes in the air. Yeah, well, she never did it, but I, I think that when women do it, it's different because they got they, they can't really do it without getting their, you know. Undercarriage, yeah. Their, their busy too. Yeah, it's disgusting. But, um, and I don't know if that's good or not. So you got a, a rat. Uh, what that is was it? the Raptor. I got a TRX. I remember that. You stuck in the comedy store parking lot? Yep, I remember that. <laughs> this one's way bigger, right? Or it's no, it's not. That to be fair, to, and I like Raptors. But listen, it's like Yankees, Red Sox. I don't care. Right, 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 you know, right. Either a Team Look TRX or Team there. Raptor. That Raptor, to be fair, was it came pre modded, so it had like carbon fiber yeah. all over it. It was lifted. Yeah, had this Baja suspension. It had so many issues. Oh. The engine was tuned. It had so many issues. Why? I so they just tuned it wrong. So I got rid of it. So and I couldn't and I, I couldn't drive it. So anymore. why'd you get this one? Because I like freedom. <laughs> that's not really an answer, though, is it? Because American, cold blood American. Okay, that's bro. fine. But why? But you I got that one because there's a Hellcat engine. There's so many possibilities. Okay. So, Daddy, by next Thursday, is gonna be at over a thousand horsepower. Right. I know. I saw that. Race that's... me in your Ferrari. Hey. Race me in your Ferrari. Well, but your your thing. You're, but the fact that that has a thousand horsepower, it, 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 because it's a big car, so it may not go that fast. Oh no! Yeah, oh you. really? Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Dude. I don't know if that'll. No, I'm like Vin That's Diesel. I live my life one quarter mile at a time. That's fine, but that means you're probably gonna either like die soon or run out of money. You know what I mean? Fair point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fair point. Or both. You could These are all good points. Run out of money. The goal is to run out of money right before you die. Yeah, that's the move. You know? Yeah. Anyway. But you're not a car guy. You don't tune any of your stuff. I mean, no. you got a exhaust on your. Uh, I don't tune it. I don't. I don't. I'm just. I get the car and then I'm driving and I'm good. It's, you beta, dude. You beta. That's fine. 
That's fine. You're beta. Uh, then I'm a beta. You just take what they give you, huh? But this outfit shit. Yeah, your booster is too. A huh? little bit to the bur- for the birds, the, dude. Your outfit is for the birds. No, the alpha, the alpha shit is a little bit for the birds. I That's because you're beta, about. though. Fine, I'm so a beta. You got, so you gotta fuck you, me in the butt, dude. I don't care <laughs> anymore, dude. It's so hard to live this alpha lifestyle, dude. I'm a beta. Just fucking jerk off on my face, man. I don't care. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. I'll do you like Halle Berry on that Drake cover, bro. Wait, so she's mad? Oh, this what is What the dope. fuck is this, dude? That is, an a- that is an accident that I brought that up. Oh, but that's cool, though. <laughs> that's a real uh, grocery, tobacco, lottery, beverages, fashion. Story. The one thing about that place, the Golden Hour thing, whatever that is, is that Asians own that. There's no doubt. I don't, but fashion? <laughs> grocery is first, tobacco, I, lottery, beverages. Fashion is last. Dude, I can get tobacco beverages. and fashion. And yeah. also define, like, can I get jeans from this fucking place? You, if they know fashion. I can get a big gulp and some freaking affliction jeans. If they know fashion, either way, uh, it's good that Nick brought it up for no reason, you know? <laughs> but when you did beta, that color is be- – and I like my colors. Yeah. Canary color, right? Yeah, I'm a canary dude today. Yeah, you big I'm a canary. fucking canary dude. <laughs> I bet canaries are pretty gangster if you think about them. Nah, they're the, they're the – Yeah, they're, that's what you think. They're the cucks of the world, That's what man. you think, first of all, but then it's like those yellow diamonds are sweet, dude. You those know what yellow I mean? Diamonds. No, bro, it's the pigeons are gangster. Yeah, that's true. They're pigeons the, are gangster. The but the pigeons, sky. people think pigeons aren't real. People think pigeons are AI and yeah, robots. People and shit. are right, but um, crows, crows are gangster too. Yeah, yeah, dude, I like the movie The Crow. I like the movie <laughs> The Crow. <laughs> we have no Eric here because he's doing some sort of Eric passed away. Cuck ass. Uh, what is he doing? Even a show? I don't even know. He's doing some mo- movie, some but movie. Is it, but here's my thing: is not there a strike right now? Oh yeah, like Bill Maher and Drew Barry. They were like, we're continuing forward with our show, and they got all this backlash. Mm, oh, Eric's basically the Drew Barry more. And yep, Bill Maher podcasting. Of, of podcast Dude, I acting. I don't understand what it, the, 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 there's a strike, but also so many of my friends are working. Here's the deal: so many different levels of corruption. If you're gonna have a strike, have a strike. Don't be working. But so a lot of my friends are working because they got a waiver. But it's like, what the fuck does that mean, dude? There's still a strike going on. So you care, but you don't really care. Which, by the way, here's the deal: if I was still doing movies and all that stuff, I would definitely be like not striking on the front line i don't care about holding a sign if i'm the like, rock yeah i'm not striking yeah just wait i would yeah. just be like well, whenever this is over i'll either work or whatever but like i get it like now but some people you ha- they have to pay their bill they keep the lights on so of course which is why i understand why drew barrymore wanted no to do she has show. enough money she they got so does much but her people who oh the work, staff that's the thing but the is, thing is if if you go continue to work through the strike mm-hmm. then you're, you're actually doing more damage to the the original goal of course yeah so it's so stupid she right she didn't expect that well she no. was also an et but she also <laughs> has been famous since she was five so You're she doesn't ET. really know really the whole deal because she's lived famously the whole time says drew barrymore apologized striking hollywood writers ahead of her show's return barrymore has been subject to protest by wga members who argue that she's violating terms of their work stoppage by filming new episodes of the drew barrymore show yeah and i'm a fan of that show you are? Oh, dude, I don't miss it. It's terrible. So, so I'm glad she's fighting. I mean, it's so terrible. It's, it's probably so better bad. without writers, honestly. So um, what I think is, though, that you... What was I going to say? You um, they got a strike, right? Well, the other guys, like uh, Jimmy Fallon and... They're the, podcasting. Yeah, and that and they're using some of that money to pay their the staff. The staff and all that, which but is also, cool. they have enough money to just pay them, though, right? Like Jimmy well, Kimmel, that, that, they make like fifty million dollars a year. Just pay them right. Well, what I don't understand about that is, yeah, is is how much do they make and how much do they need to pay to help people? But also, that looks like a terrible podcast. Let's see who's in it. White zone. They're all the same guy. Honestly, <laughs> they're all the same guy. I never realized that. Strike Force Five. It's called five people on a podcast. I I don't know these. I only know Jimmy Fallon. And uh, Seth, Seth, they're 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 really good. Jimmy guys. Fallon and Hill, Seth. Oh, and Seth Myers, Myers yeah. and then you got Homeboy from HBO, uh-huh. who's British but right. speaks on American politics. Right. And then you have uh, the guy from The Daily Show, who's a complete left cuck. And then you have Jimmy Fallon yeah. and Jimmy oh. Kimmel. Right. Well, the li- Jimmy Kimmel's liberal, right? What I don't understand is uh, they they get so liberal, but these guys. Jimmy Kimmel made his. Uh, he he used to be. He was the original uh, blackface. He did Carl Malone, but also and he the had man the show. man show. We would be like, "Hey, let's see what's up with tits this week." But you, they, he made a deal with the devil because so, right. now he's a voice for the left. So he's like, "God, I got to do this to get the paycheck." And, that and weird? then Trump being president, he had material every night. Right. And then Trump doesn't. 
state president. You know, he's gone now, so he has nothing to talk about. Oh, I don't. But he know. still talks about that. Trump. So then the the views are down at like a month. Oh, he does. Yeah, I don't know really. I've never seen it, but uh, um, he does talk about. I know he's liberal, and then but oh, fuck. But he's he best fr- friends with Adam Carolla. But Adam Carolla is great, though. Yeah, but he's like Adam Carolla stormed the Capitol in his Tesla. Right, 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 right. So it's weird. <laughs> you can be friends. So him and Jimmy. Like we had Ron Perlman on firing the kid, and uh-huh. I didn't know this. He's like super left. I I didn't. I had no yeah. clue until I posted. And people, were like, I can't believe you had this guy. I'm like. Oh, you think we brought him on to talk about his politics? Uh-oh. He's Hellboy, bitches. Yeah, We're talking about Sons of Anarchy Hellboy. He talked about the strike. We didn't get in politics at all. I, don't, I can be friends with people who are wrong about politics. I don't give a fuck. Just be nice to me, and then we're good. I didn't even tag him. I, I couldn't find his tag. Well, that's pretty Oh, it's because it's not his name. It's his Pearl Mutations. <laughs> he's, he's a lot. Oh, yeah. He's a lot. <laughs> All I saw, <laughs> but he's he's also somewhat of a hypocrite. He does voiceovers for the UFC every time. Like he's the voice of the UFC. Yeah, yeah he does those. But the then, countdowns like, and all that. You can't scroll ten tweets without him talking about Trump someplace. I don't know if he's hiring somebody to write that. I didn't get those vibes at all. I vibed with the dude, and usually I don't. If they're woke left, we usually butt heads like you know. But you didn't even know. Samurai. You had a whole conversation. You didn't even know. Yeah, there's no politics in the conversation. Was there like, was no yeah. politics. We That's talk about cool. Hellboy and fucking Sons of Anarchy, yeah, baby. Acting. That's cool. Yeah, all I know and is then that Brian he went, made it real boring, but it was fun. Yeah, yeah. well, Brian's boring. So, <laughs> yeah. but he went. But they went. He, he was getting mad at um, Elon Musk. No, well, I don't. I okay, I didn't know that. But he was getting mad at the guy uh, at. Uh, I need magic mind, dude. I, I need my magic mind. <laughs> Just right behind you. I'm losing my mind. I Give me think. one too. Your your brain These foggy, are huh? Very old though, right? They I don't. I don't think they expire. I think they're fine. Oh, he wants one? But yeah. There's yeah. one more, right? There's no, one there's more. one no, more, but we have a um, time. He Not got mad at, oh, oh, he's he, he yelled at, or he was on uh, Instagram and was talking about the strike, and he was like, don't you fucking, he was threat. he basically threatened. Hell yeah. Yeah. He's in a biker gang. Well, he's not, though, but he actually. No, he like, is, though. <laughs> What do you mean, dude? You mean bike gang? I was scared of him. Nah, dude. See, here's no, he's the thing. patched up, dude. I don't like when guys act like they're characters. That's but he's, he's also a right hellboy. Right here. Right here. Hey, stop, stop Brian again. Um, oh, this is his apology. With the uh, announcement of the actors going out on strike uh, this morning, I took to Instagram Live <laughs> These are to give a background of my experience as a Guild member and um, to give some of my reactions to um, the current events while we find ourselves in the situation, et cetera, et cetera. Looks like he's in a barber's chair. Um, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> and in the aftermath of that, there has been... Here's the... Here's the well, no, 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 but this is what he said a- after he threatened people? <clears throat> yeah. That's this is hilarious. Yeah. Everybody who does something, then they, gotta, then they apologize. That's afterwards. a boring video, though, yeah? Yeah, yeah, no, he's riveting, so... But those are... The old motherfucker mm. who said we're going to keep this thing going until Look, people the- start losing their houses yes. and their apartments. So hardcore, and then the white picket fence in the background. <laughs> Listen to me, motherfucker. Yeah, an actor. There's a lot of ways to lose your house. Some of it is financial, some of it is karma, and some of it is just figuring out who the fuck said that, and we know who said that, and where he fucking lives. There's a lot of ways to lose your house. I mean, you wish that on people. You wish that families starve while you're making 27 fucking million dollars a year for creating nothing. Be careful, motherfucker. Be really careful. Dude, I, he's ahead of a biker that's gang. that's the kind of shit that stirs shit up. Dude, I, Peace out. He's ahead of a biker gang. Dude, and that's Hellboy. Don't do the shot with the white picket fence in the background, you know? <laughs> and then don't have the maid going, dinner time! Dude. You hear the maid in the back? I, I don't know... What's up, man? Everybody's crazy. I, he has I'm, a right just, to be mad, but how crazy is that, though, that the one of the heads of Netflix was like, we're just going to hold out till they lose their house. It's fucked up. If that's because actor. they know that they can just use AI. Everyone's, I'm telling you, I've been saying this. People think that they're going to come around. They're not, dude. They're not. This strike is fucked. They're fucked. Everyone's fucked. Well, we don't want you fighting for us. You already Fa- gave up, dude. Fallon's and your gonna, shirt says that. Fallon's going to Fallon's gonna uh, just have the podcast now. They don't need it. Oh, no, that podcast going to eat shit. But they're good. They're, there's no... No AI shit. All, it's going to be all AI shit from now on. Yeah, I've seen Terminator. <laughs> Let's take a little break, dude, from 
just chatting about all things cool, and you got a canary-looking shirt on. We're back with another week of football. My CU Buffs are three and zero, baby. Hell yeah! We're playing UCLA. We got USC coming up. It's it's gonna get tough. But you can bet on my Buffs. You can bet on my Broncos. You can bet on the Jets. You can bet on the Packers. You can bet on the Steelers. You can bet on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with DraftKings. New customers can bet five dollars and get two hundred dollars instantly in bonus bets. Throw five down on any of this week's epic matchups to walk away an instant winner. And DraftKings isn't stopping there. All customers can take advantage of two new offers every single game day this September. Football's more fun when you're in on the action, isn't it? So download the app now and sign up with code GOLDEN. New customers can bet just $5 and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. <clears throat> Uh, only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL with code GOLDEN. The crown is yours. Gambling prom, call 1-800-GAMBLER. New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. That's 467-369. In West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net in partnership with Hollywood Casino and Charlestown Races. All games regulated by West Virginia Lottery. Please play responsibly. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino Resort, Kansas, 21 or older in most eligible states, but age varies by jurisdiction. CDraftKings.com. Sportsbook for details and state-specific responsible gaming resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Dude, sometimes I just I'm lying awake at night for hours. I'm exhausted. Well, how about how I'm about trying to fall asleep, dude? But I can't. My mind's just wired. How about when you wake up exhausted? And for me, it ruins my productivity for the day. Well, that's where enter by optimizers. What? You're talking about the magnesium breakthrough? Yeah, that's Dude, what I'm talking ever about. Ever since I started adding magnesium breakthrough by by optimizers to my nightly routine, I've been able to quiet my mind down and get legit quality sleep dude uh for me personally magnesium breakthrough by uh by by optimizers has helped solve my sleep problems uh from winding down at the end of a stressful day you know what i mean because i you know sometimes you get in your head you're like oh this is stressful to toss around and turning and waking up groggy uh magnesium breakthrough has been a game changer dude it helps me fall asleep i stay asleep and i wake up i go Oh, we ready. Yeah, it's just like... And then I, that song goes, we ready. Right, right, right. right. Well, we look, ready. Uh, look, it's not like other magnesium supplements that might be giving you one or two forms of magnesium. Oh, no, no. Magnesium breakthrough, this is the this is the place, all right? So don't miss out on the most relaxing sleep ever with magnesium breakthrough by Bioptimizers. For an exclusive offer for our listeners, go to magbreakthrough.com slash golden and use promo code golden during checkout to save 10%. For an exclusive offer for our listeners, go to magbreakthrough.com slash golden do it now your body and your brain will thank you okay again that's magbreakthrough.com slash golden and use promo code golden during checkout to save 10 percent nurture your mind and body with this all natural full spectrum magnesium supplement simply go to magbreakthrough.com slash golden and use promo code golden during checkout to save 10 percent let's get back to the program what we got what's this guy i love this submission okay Golden Hour crew, what's going on, guys? This is Austin out of Boise. Is that TRX? Uh, coming at you with a debate club, I guess it would be. Uh, it's a question that I've asked friends many times. I always get some fun answers out of it, so I figured I'd ask you guys. If you could see a stat sheet when you died about anything that you ever did, what would you want to see? Oh, that's a fun one. So, for example, uh, how, many, how many times did you take a dump? How many mm -hmm. gallons of whiskey did you drink, Brendan? Um, how many people did you kill in a video game and make them rage out, Eric? So just right. little stuff like that. If you could know how many times you did anything, what would be some fun ones to find out? Love to, would love to hear your guys' response to this. I think it's going to be hilarious. Uh, yeah, let me know. That truck's popping, though. Um, I'd like to know how many times, what was the ratio of me making fe people feel good versus me making people feel bad? And what do you think that ratio is? I think I made a lot more people feel good than bad. And yeah. I think that I would be like, it would make me probably feel good. I hope. Yeah. Oh, you got serious on us. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I want gallons of milk. I don't yeah. want that fucking dumb shit. Why would I care how much soy sauce I ate? Yeah. This stupid. question is for fucking, if that's what you want. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, 
Yeah, what do be, you want, dude? How many nuts you busted? That's yeah, what maybe maybe yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that'd be <laughs> cool. How many nuts how, I how busted? How many cheeseburgers I ate? That'd be cool. Uh, how many nicotine patches? Whiskey's a good one. These are not good ones. <laughs> how, many, how many times I said fuck on your deathbed? Like, dude, you said fuck seven million times. And they go like this. I'd go, yeah. No, no, you just go like fuck. this. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You, 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 but do you, you think they're going to show like they're like look how many people you made feel good? Yeah, and then and then here's all the people feel made feel bad. They want to have a conversation with you. No, but then I go like this. That's gorgeous. But do you think you're giving getting to heaven? I don't care. I'll be in. I, you can go to. It's fine. Hell is. I dude, when I get in that mindset, I can work real hard, bro. Me too. I'll figure it out down there. Dude, when I work out, I'm basically in hell. But it feels good, so it's all good, man. What? 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 It's fucking. We can do. Turn the heat on. I love the heat. <laughs> I've had my shit on 81 degrees in the hotel the other day. You put your asshole out there. And I fell asleep. I fell asleep. I woke up. 81 degrees was so fucking hot. And uh, I hate it hot. Nah, dude. Nah. It's so hot. It sucks cold, bro. What would you do, though, on your death? Like, if you had a stat sheet? Um, I'd like to know how many nuts I busted alone and then also with people. <laughs> that verse oh, would be, be cool. great. Oh, that'd be cool. Half and half, that, maybe? Nah, probably 70 30. Alone? Alone, 70 30. Yeah, 70 30. Yeah, you yeah. feel like a real loser. But that's for that stat, and they're like, it's ninety five five. Yeah. No, it's it's probably seventy thirty. Yeah, seventy five. It's probably that's probably most people ninety five five. You know, people would be busting nuts all over the place without people. People would be busting nuts all over the place just by themselves, and then are lucky to bust nuts with people. Ninety five. I would say it's probably more ninety eight two. Like ninety eight two. Ninety eight two. Yeah, for people. You know, I, Nick was like, it's more like ninety nine one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ninety nine one. Yeah, but if you're a top G, dude. Is that Six, a, a sixty t- forty? A, 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 uh, to Andrew Tate thing. Top yeah, yeah. G? Top G. I like how you call me. It makes me feel good. Is Top G and uh, like uh, Ultimate Alpha? Is that what that is? I think so. And you're busting. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what Top G is, but are I know we it's Top in, G's? I don't. I don't know what it is. I don't know what. Look the, up Top G, dude. Yeah. Is there a criteria that's to a be a really, Top G? I, uh, that's a really dumb uh, title. Top. Oh, G. it made me feel good when he said that, dude. You call me Top G? Well, let me see what it is. A guy. Oh, uh, let's see do, who's who is feared and respected by all the world top in English. The word top in English refers to the highest in position, rank or degree. Well, yeah, no and G is a phrase stands for gangster. OK, this is like the d- definition for my dad. Yeah, exactly. But, but that's well, the thing. If G is for I need gangster, the criteria. I'm pretty gangster. Well, go all the way up. Go all the way up. It says top G. That's from uh, Urban Dictionary. Uh, the guy is crazy. Yeah, this guy is the individual no. that is capable in all realms. A term created by a former chess grandmaster, Emery Tate, former has unmatched. Oh, that's his dad then, right? Oh, oh person one. This guy is crazy. He's rich, can fight. His driving skills are top notch, and his debating skills are out of this world. What can't he do? Person two. You're right. He's truly a top G. Okay. I can't play chess. Dangerous My debating at everything. skills it depends what it is. So, so Liam Neeson always plays a top G. I have a particular set of skills. I'm a top G. And, and he can drive. You. And he's rich. He can debate. I, I don't know if I'm a top G anymore, man. I don't think I've ever been a top G. I'm just kind of beta with my yellow shirt. I'm going to lo- be beta from now on, dude. We're lowercase G. Nah. Uh, what's the after beta? What's C? Seda? <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> All right. Well, that's really shitty. And we're not going to be able to put that on the episode, but you're a Well, you can bleep it out. You think I'm a... So you went your next top, <laughs> top. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Yeah, I would like to see those two things: how I make people people feel good versus how I make people feel bad, and then also how many nuts I bust bus solo, and then with people. I mean, women. You don't say people because no men, right? I never busted a nut. I busted one one time with a dude. I busted a nut. <laughs> 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 there was that one time. <laughs> no, nah, it was. It was it's we a were, chart. It's all pink. There's one blue. <laughs> no, nah, it was. There was. There was a girl. It was to a girl, but the dude was there. You know. Oh, Eiffel Tower. Yeah, well, no, it wasn't like that. He was walking he was in, the, in room, the room, and I was like, what the heck? He was walking in the room, and I go, oh, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he laughed, dude. It's top G. Uh, both of us were top Gs right there. I don't know, man. <laughs> you never busted a nut with a dude in the room? Oh, uh, no. Oh, lies, dude. Not only a dude in the room. I'm saying women are there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Ah, uh, dude, you got to get on that, man. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Come on, dude. I don't want to go to heaven then. Nah, I, 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 I busted one nut one time with a dude in the room, and you're gonna call me a beta, dude? Not a top G, one bro. One time. We gotta ask Andrew Tate. We should have uh, zoomed him in. 
Is that top G shit if you're busting nuts while your buddy's over your shoulder? He was in the room. He was. He was over my shoulder. It was hilarious. And, was and going, I go, no, yeah, come yeah, on, bro. Yeah, oh, shooting ropes. Yeah. No, he goes, he laughs. And I'm like, bro. And I started laughing. And I was, but I was with, you know, she was awesome. <laughs> top G, dude. You think I give a fuck? No. That's gay if I was like, get out. Yeah, that'd be gay. <laughs> I'm all concentrated on something else. I'm concentrated on the moment, dude. Check it out, bro. Sup, dude. Whoa. Yeah. Um, anyway, dude, don't be don't be like, you know. No, old. I'm cool, dude. It's cool, dude. All right. I respect it, dude. What do well, you got, Nick? Uh, did we see you, Representative Lauren Boebert? Dude, him? she you know she was jacking him off through his khakis. Yeah, it was super hot. She got my vote. Yeah, isn't it? Everyone's like, you believe this is ridiculous? This is their first date. I'm like, I'm I turned on. I want to see what she looks like normally. Dude. That's her first date? Sweaters, first date. She's recently in divorce, real cougar out on the town. Is she hot? Pretty yeah. for, for, a for a politician, she's a 10. Okay. But what about for regular? Let me see. Uh, well, you don't need to go to her Instagram. Just Google her, right? Oh, there we go. Go to the guy with the... There we go. She there has go. them government hitters, dude. Go, bring it in. My contacts are blurry. <laughs> Zoom in. Oh, she's hot. Yeah. She's hot not even just for a congressman. Dude, and you go to a Broadway play, Beetlejuice, and she's jacking you through some dockers? Yeah, dude. Hot. That's crazy, man. Yeah, bro. That's top G. She got dude. kicked. Yeah, she's a top. She's a female G. top G. She top G. Dude, I think she that, got kicked out for vaping. I know vaping, recording herself singing. I mean, she was being a real uh, asshole. She, has, she got kicked out for jacking the. No, guy no, no. Up. Honestly, the jacking is is Hot. definitely the the least bad part of what she was doing in that. She was in a play recording herself. We get Nick shooting a shot. Oh my god! You don't wow, have to apologize. Nick, but it was super <laughs> hot three days ago. And it was it was before she uh, she turned off comments, but I made it in under the wire. Oh, nice! You made it in. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. The video was super hot. He says <laughs> the grainy ass video, dude. <laughs> that made wow. it hotter. Nick, and, yeah, dude, Nick busted a nut solo on that for sure. With a guy in the top room. G. Yeah, 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 top G. Top G. And she broke up with the dude, too. So she says. She's like, there won't be a second date. He's a Democrat. Because yeah. evidently he owns a bar that hosts drag shows. Drag and that shows, was like yeah. one thing she, she really playing that would shit. complain against oh, about. God, I mean, dude, aggra- how old is she? She's aggressive. Jacket. So hold on. She was. She, I, I don't, honestly, fooling around in a play theater, whatever, is one thing. I, I, re- she should have been kicked out for recording the play <laughs> and also singing and taking selfies and vaping. The jacking off, you don't even notice unless you're like right next to him. Yeah. But the vaping is like plumes of smoke everywhere. And a pregnant, and she's lady's, like this. Be- and a pregnant lady's behind her. I didn't see this vaping before. and pregnant. <laughs> yeah, that's her jacking them, that's titties, her jack them chin. <laughs> he's let- I didn't see like the, the boob touch. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude. He's squeezing yeah. them. He's letting them all out. <laughs> yeah. Dude. He's having a fucking good time. Yeah, dude. dude this is a good first date. Yeah, probably getting me. all hard and shit. Oh, he is rock hard, dude. <laughs> dude, I mean, he's in Beetlejuice, good, man. just not paying attention to the play at oh, all. Oh, look at that dude. guy, man. He's all like, oh, come on, dude. Yeah, yeah he's like, okay. You know what he's thinking, dude? He's like, oh, Beetlejuice is awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, his Beetlejuice is fucking awesome, Let's man. get out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's ditch this shit. Look dude, at her jacking, dude. Oh, say his name three times. Oh, say his name three times. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I bet that fucking is cool, man, to be like that. Uh, I bet that was a fun day. I gotta go to see cats with my wife and do that. <laughs> I bet oh, he busts. Oh, Jellicle. Oh, Jellicle cat. Oh, Jellicle cat. Or whatever I bet he busted so hard when they got home, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. You think so? Yeah. This is a good podcast. <laughs> there, was a whole, there was a whole South Park episode about bringing your woman to uh, musicals because then you get a BJ. Oh, yeah. That one was funny, dude. <laughs> that one was funny. I remember that one. I didn't see that one. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think that, I think that, I don't know, man. I mean, remember, remember Pee Wee got in trouble for that? Like jacking off? No, Pee, no, hold on. This, uh, let me defend Pee Wee here for a second. Oh, Big oh, Top Pee Wee got in trouble. It was so stupid. He was the first one to get canceled because well, he was at a, a triple X movie theater. That's why you, why you Jacking go, off. That's, that's why, why you go. go. Yeah. And then someone's like, oh, that's Pee Wee Herman. And then they out him. They're like, well, he's around kids. And so he loses his whole gig. Oh, oh he's did like, he actually lose his gig? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know he that. He got fucked, man. Oh, dude. He was jacking off at a In triple X thing. exposure at a Florida porn house. Florida porn house. That's crazy, dude. And he and he, uh, he was jacking off. And then and then people were like, that's Pee Wee. And he was like, ha ha. And then he got fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, word of the day. Yeah. Did you Whoa. guys see the... Uh... <laughs> Mexican alien unboxing. Oh uh, man, I said this on congratulations. That I don't even bitch. get it. This is so fucking 
This guy brought dolls. <laughs> you see this? I saw it. I think it was like uh, back in the day. It was like their my pet monster tickle me Elmo. Yeah, and it just died or what? Tickle me wands. Yeah, tickle, 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 tickle me, tickle me to me. So, um, I'll translate. This is uh, <laughs> right here. We have two aliens. Pretty sure if you turn them around, you pull the string. <laughs> it's a, hey, Mexico, do better though. No one's buying this shit. Well, this, this is Mexico just trying to get some clout right now. They're just no aliens. Are so hot right right now. I know, but that's the thing. They're saying that this set. The people who believe in aliens back. Yes. 100%. Yeah, because that's a fucking doll. <laughs> yes. It's made out of wood, you know? Nah, I swear. It's so stupid. And every, you can't tell what anything is but the face. Do, it's do an alien Mexico. for real, though. Oh, I swear, yeah. dog. <laughs> swear, dog. It's alien, dog. You should have seen it when it was alive, probably. <laughs> um, Did you see the video of them dissecting it? No. What's no. in it? It was a cake. Is it cake? Is it yeah. on? Is it cake? Oh my! Oh come on, dude! Is this real? No, someone made it. Oh that's oh wow! <laughs> someone made it. But it went cake crazy up. viral. On that's people. funny. That's funny. They made that shit quick. It looks tasty. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too for that. For that, <laughs> dude. Um, I I ice cream twice. Uh, I ate ice cream last night and the night before. What kind of ice cream? Oh my god, bro! You want to get into it? <laughs> All right. So check this out. This is what I like when podcasts are about, man. So. <laughs> Dude, I ate fucking snickerdoodle ice cream I like from that. Salt and Straw, dude. My fave, dude. Salt and Straw is the best. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's not my favorite. Afters? Have you had afters? No. Jenny's? No. Oh, you like that cuck shit, Ben and Jerry's? Yeah, I do. That's for cucks. It's not. Yeah, they steal the land from Indians, and then they make ice cream. They steal the land from Indians? Yep. And then they demand white people pay the bill. Really? That's why I don't wear my chunky donkeys anymore. Two cucks run that company. Seriously? Yep. Look it up. They're fat as shit, huh? They're fat. You ever see those guys? It's so weird. You would that... think they'd be fat or oh, really? I cream. thought they were fat. No, no. You're thinking of Jerry Garcia. <laughs> okay. So stolen Native American land, right? So stolen indigenous. But just make ice cream, though, right, guys? Well, what what the fuck are they doing? They're stealing the land and making ice cream with it. You, but then they're demanding that other people pay Native Americans back. But then why? Their land is also on stolen property. It makes no sense. Oh, Israel and Palestine? Dude, the Chunky Monkey Maker, land. which briefly... Can I just eat ice cream without thinking about P Palestine? You that's, why you don't eat, <laughs> that's why you don't I eat Ben and Jerry's. God damn, eat this shit, and I'm thinking of the war. In, 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 in you know what Ben and, and Jerry's and is? And, uh, and the Kaza Kanda? chocolate strip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that one? <laughs> that's it. ridiculous. Yeah. Ben and Jerry's and Klondike bars are the Tesla and Toyota of car of ice cream. Ben and Jerry's is bitches. good as fuck, dude. That's for bitches. Wait, no, wait, hold on. What's the one I eat? It's for sheep. No, I don't eat that one. I eat. Oh, the one I eat is Hagen Dazs. I don't give a fuck, bro. Do you eat Kraft macaroni and cheese too? Nah. You cut. If dude. I ate macaroni and cheese, that's what I would eat, though, dude. I don't eat macaroni and cheese, man. <laughs> I'm healthy except for the ice cream. I eat snickerdoodle shit. From you work too hard to eat that bullshit ice cream. Why I, you get I good ate ice it two cream? different nights, dude. I still am lean as shit. I look good, man. Have you seen my body recently? It looks fucking way better than it did four months ago. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I fucking... Yeah, man. I'm getting all tatted up, bro. You got no out there. You got no out there. You got no out there. <laughs> dude, I'm fucking going to be so jacked. I swear to God, I'm going to be 50. Dude, when I'm 50 in a bunch of years, it's not even close. But in a bunch of years, <laughs> dude, I'm going to be so jacked. I'm going to be doing calisthenics. Up? Yeah, dude. I'm going to be doing those fucking... Those leveled out with the feet out fucking chin ups. It's on, dude. I swear to God, and I'm not. I'm not joking, dude. Do you think your legs get bigger? I want them to, bro. But it's you tough, know, it's right? Like, yeah. It's like, a, it's like watering a plant. It's yeah. It's oh, speaking of small legs, what's up with this dude? Speaking of legs. Oh, I thought that was Chris. It does look like me, huh? <laughs> okay, I don't. I would do that much better. What up, Golden Hour? Oh, I know this uh, cat. He's Noah from Nashville, and I have a sour or power for you. He cut his hair. Uh, oh, my no, sour or power is wearing shorts in the winter. Uh, no. I know winter is upon us. No. And Not out here. For me, growing up as a kid, we were kind of poor, so I would wear shorts in the winter and would tell people it's a power move because it's like, look at me, I'm tough. I can be cold. 
uh, and then, pants. but secretly it's kind of sour because I was very cold and <laughs> I just didn't have pants. Um, <laughs> what do you guys think? Did you guys wow. used to do that? I'm, I'm still a shorts guy. You know. <laughs> Uh, love you, boys. Have a good one. Bye. He's, he's cool. I know that cat. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no shorts in the winter. I grew up in Colorado. It wasn't even an option. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 no shorts. Unless you just no got sh- bad pants. I'll tell you what. No shorts. Almost no shorts. Period. Unless it's really fucking hot. I agree. It's yeah. rare you see me in shorts. Unless I wear I'm shorts. on my bike. If I'm on a bike, I have shorts on. On my workout days, I wear shorts, bro. Yeah. You, you don't wear pants to work out, do you? I have sweats. Yeah. I don't understand when people do that. It I gets keep, so hot. I like keep my legs warm, bro. But they're not warm. They're fucking blazing hot. Nah, I don't get that hot. So you wear pants when you work out. What about when that gets all sweaty? Not if I'm running. So if I'm I know that. upper body, I'm in sweat. Really? Lower body, I'll get it out. I want okay, to see the so pops. if you do like deadlifts, no sweats. Very rare, yeah. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. All right, dude. But dude, growing up in Colorado, I used to rock a turtleneck in jeans sometimes, like The Rock. That's cool. Yeah, Turtlenecks dude. are cool. They're not, though. They're cool. Yeah, not unless you're Steve Jobs. Don't wear them. No, they're okay. Girl, uh, you know, women think they're very sexy, especially on me, dude. When I wear them, you women must look really like insane it. in a turtleneck. Oh, I have a turtleneck, and I, I wore it. I wore it sometimes, and I and I you don't wear it on stage. No, nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny. I wore a turtleneck. I have a, an episode in, of Congratulations called the Turtleneck episode, and I wore a turtleneck. And, dude, I put it on, and man, and I look pretty fucking good, man. They're uncomfortable, man. Dude, our boy Ben is actually fighting this weekend. Ben Davis with yeah, the turtleneck. turtleneck yeah. yeah, double turtleneck. Yeah, he's, he's fighting, fighting with the turtleneck on? That is he fighting awesome. with the turtleneck on? I hope so. <laughs> or is, I guarantee he walks out to the ring with a turtleneck on. <laughs> Why does he always wear a turtleneck yeah, or what? Yeah, that's he, he did a fight campaign. He's like, that's fucking hot out here, man. I'm like, you're in a fucking turtleneck. He's like, you're <laughs> he right. Took Takes one. off, had another one on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. He, I go, you wore two turtlenecks? He goes, yeah. Who's this dude? His name ben, is ben McBain Davis. Davis. He's yeah. fucking killing he's it. He's cool. He's really? funny. Yeah, he's a good dude. He's just like a Twitter guy who loves MMA. He's great at memes. He goes viral constantly. He, he just keeps getting in like influencer boxing matches. Yeah. He's fighting Anderson Silva's son. He yeah. fights. Uh, Got it. He, he tries. Does. No, he covers MMA. Like he does yeah. a lot of like the commentary regional stuff. commentary. But shows. he also gets in. He does the. F- he he fights. He's down to yeah. He's down to do. Wow. He has one and... coming up. <laughs> he did a grappling match against the CEO of like I think it's like. And he's a black belt. Got tapped out in like thirty seconds. And really? he broke his foot. The guy. Bro- <laughs> ben is not a black belt. He's a white belt. Oh, he but he's down to do it though. He's down to do it. Which his is cool. foot broke. He has balls. Black belt in like fifteen. Yeah, seconds. I respect him. At least he's getting in there. But he broke his foot. Yeah. And he wore two turtlenecks. This dude's hilarious. Yeah, he's funny. He's funny. He's great. Drink just drinks beers. <laughs> Built like a lunch lady. Has love handles and shit. Before Fight Companion, <laughs> he came. He, he drove to Arizona just to do my stream that like thirty people watch as like a bit, and we drank for like twelve hours and watched like ten hours of UFC. <laughs> he's he's a hoot. Wow. He's a good dude. Yeah. How old is he? Uh, 20, he's, he's he just got. He 20. just graduated from Arizona State. Okay. He's like 24, 23. Yeah. He works at the comedy club in Arizona. Oh, cool. Yeah, he worked at, uh, what's it, Brunson's Comedy Club out there. Yeah, Rick Brunson. Yeah. How's comedy? <clears throat> I don't know. I mostly know theaters. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you this weekend? I was in Edmonton. and uh, Was it cold as shit? It wasn't so cold, no. Uh, Edmonton, and then uh, I was in Calgary. and uh, I love yeah. Calgary. Calgary's yeah, cold. Calgary's great. Edmonton is crazy weird. I'm in Edmonton, I think in February. It's going to be so cold. I didn't even think about it. They asked me to do it, and I was like, yeah, no problem. And I was like, oh, yeah, just February. do it. Though. I don't really care about that shit. It's just cold. You're barely outside ever. You just stay inside, you know? It's the fl- the travel, though. You know? Yeah, I know. That's just hilarious. Boozy Badass goes after, goes after Waffle House worker refuses. To cook goes potato. off after Waffle House worker refuses he, he, to cook potato wrap. There's some mental home. health with him, right? And yeah, like he, He's going after uh, uh, Sanders on, on CU, saying he hope he gets hurt. He doesn't like but, how much. Well, definitely don't. He a bad guy, huh? Bring a potato to a. <laughs> place and be like yo cook it's not wine you know I'm it, a is there a porky fee but last week I got into it with the cook at Waffle House he tried me like I, I, I leave anywhere I go I leave a hundred dollar tip or more so I asked him I brought a potato from my house I say make me some breakfast potatoes all he had to do is chop it up and make me some breakfast potatoes he say he couldn't do it I say you can't do what it's a bet I won't be back. You get paid two dollars hour. I leave a hundred dollar tip every time. I brought a potato from my house. He ain't gonna make me breakfast potato. I say I'm done with you. You you ungrateful. Why are you trying to like a person 
ungrateful. The lady hasn't stopped talking the entire <laughs> time he's talking. The chef in the back who She's like, he did what? Like, yeah, I can't I'm believe it. I tip them $40. Coffee, at each other. Whatever meal I do. He could. Dude, what's <laughs> up with black people are always Lies. 30. <laughs> like, how long has he been around? Forever. And he's just young. What the fuck, dude? Black don't it's crack. bullshit. I know. Oh, he's only 40? That's the thing about these rappers. Some some of them were fucking Let's like 16. Think when about Lil Wayne. It might be the drugs. He, Lil Wayne's only 40. He looks yeah, like Lil that Wayne Mexican alien, older, huh? Though, yeah. I bought Boosie two pounds of weed one time. To to, oh, on. to do Theo's show, right? <laughs> yeah. He needed two pounds of weed. Yeah, and, and he kept he kept asking for like specific strains, and I kept I felt like they were like not gonna do it, and they were just setting him on a goose chase. Yeah. But I kept coming back, and be like, I got it, I got it, I got it. And then wow. he, he, he came on finally. <laughs> and right? I was driving during curfew because it was during the riots. Oh. Wow, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! It was good times. Um, so yeah, he is <laughs> crazy. But does he have a lot of money and shit? I guess. From he leaves a hundred dollar tips. I know that's goes. what I'm saying. Like, what does he? I don't know him except for his antics. I don't know, and I, I know him, and I know he's doing like a really know. one of those like influence really or fights as well. Anymore. Oh, he is, and he did a face off and uh, pepper sprayed the guy. No, I think that's someone else. Yeah, that was Charleston White. Yeah. Oh fuck me, racist. <laughs> <laughs> but does he make music now still? Yeah, he's everywhere though. No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. I only know him because the answer. Me too. I don't, I don't know, know his music. I don't know his music. Does he have any slappers, Nick? Uh, yeah, we'll listen to some on the on Patreon, the Patreon episode. one. Okay, we'll go Patreon episode next one. And just listen a little booze. Does this come out Thursday? Oh, yes. Sam Tripoli, that's cool. This comes out Thursday. All right, so I'm in Ottawa right now, so it's too late if you didn't get. Yeah, that. I'm in Spokane tonight. But, uh, two but, uh, shows Friday, two shows Saturday. Spokane. But you whoopsie been there? though, right? Because I'll be you in Cleveland, uh, Virginia. I'll be in. Pittsburgh, uh, too many places, right? Uh, Philadelphia, Reading, um, and a bunch of different places. Go to chrislea.com, and that's where the tickets are. And my contacts are blurry still. Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> Hell yeah. Who's this, Brady Matthews? What's going no, on? No, that's Sam Tripoli. Yeah. Hey, Golden Hour Podcast. What's up? This is James from Canada here, he man. Southern Ontario, building swords. He man. Power sword. That's the He man. He man sword, yeah. It's so heavy, though. Splits apart. Oh! Whoa. Or Daredevil nunchucks. Whoa. Or. This guy need to grow up, huh? Uh, Master swords, Zelda, shields, all kinds of things. Yeah, yeah, grow up. Anyway. <laughs> grow my question up. is uh, Halloween costumes. Oh. Halloween's kind of coming up uh, in about a month and a half. And I'm curious. Uh, your uh what you might have dressed up as a kid or uh if you uh hand out trick or treats or whatever you do for Halloween you guys it's my favorite right. holiday have a great day and uh bing bong flim flam walla walla bing bong lost his mind hell yeah you it's your favorite holiday yeah halloween my kids love it we go to the knights of the jack right here in calabasas up, that place is haunted thing. that place is super haunted no my boy no zach baggins did an adventure there yeah but there's no such thing it, as it is though you gotta no, no, believe no. to achieve yeah. um yeah i love halloween as far as costumes go you, are you guys doing a family theme like we've done we did the uh, incredibles we did super mario we've done star wars mm -hmm. this year i don't know um, I want to do. You should guys should do the Manson family this year. I'm too tall to play <laughs> Charles Manson. Have your kid do it. You'd be the one of the people who killed themselves. I'll be one of the bitches. Oh no, I could be Tex Watson. Um, That's not a bad idea. No, it's a bad idea. Your kids are too young. But um, you, uh, I don't know. My son this year wants to be well. You know, he said a while ago, but he said he wants to be Tall Victor, which is uh, a broccoli guy. From oh, the yeah. Garden of Ban Ban. That'd be cute, though. Uh, that's a video game that is not even necessarily for kids. It's horrific, but they have a kid <laughs> version that he loves, loves to watch. So he's going to be Tall Victor, I believe. That'd but be easy to make. He might want to change it unto, uh, to uh, Woody Woodpecker because he's very into Woody Woodpecker now. The movie or the cartoons? The movie. The, new the movie. movie's good. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah, it's really bad. My son, he, he <laughs> he's Tiger's into, uh, was it Kazam? Which with the that guy? It's not even a the superhero. Yeah, Kazam. Why they want to be that? Kazam? I'm like, yeah, it's not like, even a thing out now. I was for like, Kazam. that's gay. Yeah. Yeah, but he's young though. Yeah, but it's gay, right? Well, but no, it's not gay if you're that young. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Only though. Gay out of all like, the superheroes, I'm like, come on, Kazam, bro. Yeah, but how old is he? Seven. Uh, 
Yeah, it's kind of gay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, dude. Entering into some some gay territory there, but why Kazan though? There's not even a thing out about Kazan. You know, these kids. They, there was they part two came out like a few. Oh, there is something months, that came. Yeah, part two came out, it. but like okay. eight months ago. He, yeah. You know, and they oh, he make, likes Kazan, dude. Makes his little brother watch dude, it. Support it, support it. No, Shazam. I like Kazam. Shazam. So, oh, Shazam. Kazam okay, see, is with a... Shaquille O'Neal. Kaz- uh, Shazam oh, is the oh, Kazam. superhero. Kazam oh, yeah. Shaq. Shazam. Is... I wish he was in a Kazam. Was Shaq as the genie? That shit was. I forgot lit, about that. Dude. I had a whole bit about that on Uncorrigible, and I forgot it was called Kazam. Wow, my memory's bad. Fading. Yeah, that was the shit. I Kazam, love that movie. Dude. Kazam. I had a whole bit about how I cried. I think during that. Wow, I don't remember shit, bro. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, that movie fucking sucked donkey balls, huh? Look at that. It was tough. Um, I enjoyed it as a kid, though. Was I a kid? You have been. <laughs> or was I a teenager? You have been. Um, when did that come out, Nick? A long time ago. But we, we were probably in our 20s. I cried during that movie. 96. So you were six, you were 14 uh, or 13. Too old to be into that movie. I don't know. I was 16, so I cried during it. And I didn't even see it till my 20s. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, my, I, he's going to be tall. Look up tall, tall Victor. The broccoli? Yeah. Uh, that's what my son wants to be. And Kiki, his grandma, is going to make it. And then what are you going to be? Are you going to do the whole Well, theme? I don't know. Maybe I'll do a band band. I'll be band band yeah, or Yeah, I like the family or, theme. Or fucking, uh, there he is. That's what he wants to be. <laughs> I'll be either Bam Bam or maybe my wife will be Bambolina. If you don't do those costumes right, you're going to look like you're fans of Sausage Party. Oh, yeah. I don't the whole like family's going to look like Sausage Party. Um, well, that thing's terrifying. Oh, It's a terrifying game, dude. It's a terrifying game. It's for adults, and then there's, like I guess, a kid version. But they can't go, or, or he, he, like he, he can't watch too many levels of it because the they get really, it gets really violent. I don't really know. Really, but it looks cute on the when you do it for. Hey, kids. violent like he's beating up other vegetables or how how big of a? I don't know. They're monsters and shit. I think they cut each other. Yeah, but they're vegetables, dude. Yeah, but they there's other like there's, dude there's Sheriff Toadster. There's, <laughs> you know, my, it's like there's different. I know, but you you soft. Huh? My son watched Training Day the other day. <laughs> That's the difference between us, bro. <laughs> Today when I was driving to school, he goes, damn, dad, I know you like to get wet. You didn't know what? Damn, dad, I know you like to get wet. Damn, dad, you want your shit pushed in? <laughs> <laughs> hey, dad, you ever had your shit pushed in? Yeah. Um, oh, that thing's terrifying, does too. Does help him eat vegetables? Nah. <laughs> nah, nah, it keeps him up uh, at night. It's I'm gangster. Scared. It's not... It, they, they draw it nice for kids, but it's like a horror video game like it's not and i'm like what so the you fuck don't, you, you don't want him to gravitate towards that my son likes scary stuff he likes like stuff that he's yes, like mine too oh really yeah yeah like he likes it but it's also like he's also he's like, scared of it yeah he has, I, i'm not even trying to make you laugh he tried he, he goes dad i want to watch it before bed i'm like oh no my. bro because on apple it like recommends it. i'm like yeah how's it? i'm scared of that yeah like, I know, oh, I know. i'm like your brother's three you guys share right, a room you right. can't watch it right right you watch right. that shit on your own time Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I, I want to watch that movie. Um, Rogan posted about it the other day. Hear me out, or whatever the fuck it is, the new horror movie that he said is really scary. Everyone's saying it's scary. Oh, what's it on? I need a new movie to watch. It's on. Uh, I just saw it on Apple TV, but it's not Apple TV. It's like I don't know. It was in the theaters and shit, but it's it's out it's called now. Hear me out. Uh, something like that. Rogan posted it. If Nick Talk were, to me. Yeah, there he is. Talk me to out. me. Hear me out. Yeah, I just watched Talk to Me, and it's one of the scariest effing movies I've seen in a long time. Holy shit, all caps. You know, I don't know. Maybe Rogan was high when you wrote this, though. You don't know, but like. Uh, he, yeah, he knows his shit, though. You no, know, no, I know. Scary. We're both saying. into scary movies. I'll watch that for sure. How big of a movie is that? Like, is that some independent thing? No, it was a big up? movie. Oh. Is it? And it's it was, on, it was a, stu- like a, it was a well done, well made studio movie, yeah. Oh, I'm in then. I need a good new scary movie. I love sc- I love being scared, dude. I don't really get scared watching them though. Uh, uh, like, there's there's moments that are kind of scary, but then I forget about them afterwards. It doesn't really affect like the me. jump moments. The jump moments are I hate jump moments. Oh, I love it. But they're not. They're not. They're cheap though. Make me scared to my bones. Hey, have fun though. Try no, that. I am having fun, but make me scared to my bones. Have it seep in. I'm like, this ain't shit. This ain't shit. This ain't Boom. shit. This ain't shit. No. Then I go like this. If it seeps in my bones, if it's if it's 
build up. This, I go, this ain't shit. This ain't shit. This ain't shit. This ain't shit. I'm still thinking this ain't shit, but really, it already seeped into my bones, and I'm like, I don't even realize I'm scared. And then by the end of it, I was like, holy shit. It's called edging, dude. <laughs> That's hot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the terror. Dude, being edged is pretty sweet, dude, huh? <laughs> it's a good deal. Or it's annoying. <laughs> nah, dude, I'm all into that shit. You like scary movies like you like edging. You need the build up. I like That's why I like Ghost Adventures, especially when they do the when they, when they do the house ones. <laughs> you I don't like getting edged, bro? No, no. no. Well, you're talking about haunted shit. We move on to sex. <laughs> they both. You knew both. You like getting edged at not scary farm? Yeah. Take me to Halloween nights and edge me. Or at Beetlejuice. Dude, hand job at Beetlejuice. <laughs> playing with your perfect friend, date. Playing with your friendulum gland. You like that shit? <laughs> What's the fendulum gland? <laughs> What's a fendulum gland? <laughs> the fuck is that, dude? I'm Talk say, to me, Daddy. Educate me, man. You touch the frendulum gland. You don't, but you not till it squirts, man. What's the? What is that? When the lady touches the frendulum gland. <laughs> the frendulum. It's nice. It's real nice, dude. It's on like the tip, front part of your, of your penis, man. Oh, the more It's where you the know. edging happens, dude. The more you know. I call it the tip. Yeah, but that I'm a I'm more clinical about shit, yeah, you dude, are, dude. And I'm a doctor. It's a. There you go. Your frendulum gland. Frendulum. The frendulum of the penis is a you band of tissue. Oh, I got it wrong a little bit. That connects the foreskin to the head. But we it don't have four. But I don't have foreskin, Daddy. I don't have that foreskin. Yeah, you do. Everyone. Does. Now my shit's right. The frenulum of your penis is a band of tissue. There you go. That picture, Look how small that penis is. <laughs> is that a picture from Tremors? What What's is that? that? A, <laughs> What's that? A clit? That's, whose dick looks like that, dude? What is? I make a bigger penis on the thing. <laughs> yeah, but uh, don't make it look like that. Yo, that penis is so small. That's bullshit. What what, what website is this? <laughs> penis frenulum. <laughs> Well, well, why is that penis so little, dude? I'm being for real. I'm not even trying to be I'm like I'm a top G. I'm, I'm not, not a top G. I'm saying that penis is so small. No, we top G's, and that's a small dick. That's a tremor, but also <laughs> <laughs> a tremor. That's a friendly little guy. That's a tremor, man. That's crazy. No way his wiener looks like that, man. But you if get it a does, girl. But see a doctor. Listen, you get a, a, a nice lady. Just touch it on that frenulum gland. With her mouth? For hours, With dude. With her mouth? You don't even give a shit what's happening, man. Yeah, but you do it in your mouth. It's like Cartman when the fucking uh, dog whisperer does, and he's just. <laughs> <laughs> Cartman. It's nice, bro. Uh, the homeless in Denver are getting really entrepreneurial. That's Denver, baby. We're, we're business first. Pop up bar. Damn, that homeless place is lit. What? Homeless Cameron's pop up bar. What? Hold up. Well, it says photo show that. shelves and bottles of liquor, AstroTurf, lounge seating, step out, step up outside. Authorities say the camps are operating a pop up bar and rent out tents for paid sex. They, 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 they is really that figured legal? it out. Is it legal? It's to? not. No. So, Prostitution is not legal in Denver. So then why are they. They got to arrest those people, man. That's illegal. <laughs> we, we got bigger problems out there like the Denver Broncos. No, I, there's a lot of big problems out there, honestly. Yeah, with and, Denver uh, Broncos, right? We're 0 2. I know, man. Let's focus on that. We got to get John Elway back. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. Yep. Russell Wilson's not cutting it. If you were going to have to pay, play with one professional quarterback's friend on tip. <laughs> Dan Marino. I bet that really? Oh, I bet he's packing a dolphin down there, baby. He probably, a real water he's hog. He's probably got a bulgy-ass dick, you know? Yeah, but it's thick, dude. They need to for isotonic Joe Montana feels like it'd be small. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just saying that. Uh, uh, this whole thing, the prostitution should be definitely legal. Legal? Oh yeah. I th I think they've tried it. Well, what we were. By the way, legal and illegal sound too much alike. It should be legal and then something else. Not legal. Yeah, illegal. Yeah. I say it's illegal. You say illegal or illegal. Yeah, and you got to do that every yeah. fucking single time, dude. Um. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I don't know. I guess you. I mean, if you want to do prostitution, you can pretend you're homeless and just kind of go into one of those tents. Probably smells real bad, but I want to see what the ladies look like. L.A.'s got some hot homeless women, though. L.A. Yeah, if you go down Skid Row on World Star, they like always highlight fit. them. Yeah, they. Oh, oh yeah. they do. Oh yeah, they highlight them. I'm like, damn, I need to get down there. 
Yeah. So this is a couple blocks from uh, my place. I call it Club Freeway. Oh my. Uh, and there's you're walking. There's constantly music playing and like people like hanging out. I definitely could probably get sucked off there for a couple bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've never <sighs> done that. <laughs> <laughs> this is you. You took this. Yeah. I mean, it's like right in the middle of the fucking freeway. It's, it looks like you're Skid walk, Row. You're gonna get hit, Nick. Yeah, wow. probably. Nick, but, is, yeah. that looks like it's in Marina, dude. Where is? Where's this at? And there's a school right there. Oh, oh uh, my! It's, it's Silver Lake, just yeah. under under the 101. Evidently, they try to really usher them under the freeways because right. there's less shit there. But then they know that, so right. that's where all the drug dealing goes down. Fuck. But the, the thing is so expansive. There's people with, like, multiple-room tarp mansions. It's crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Three-level condos and shit. <laughs> I, I, you know, at some point, it's like you live like that. You don't have to pay taxes. You just chill. It's like you probably get used to it. They honestly. might be doing it right. And we're I mean, doing people, it li- people, some people like living homeless. Yeah, I don't know I'm, too many, but yeah. No, I don't maybe. know too many homeless <laughs> yeah. people, but that I'm just saying. horrible, but yeah. No, it you. does, but some people. Dude, I saw a thing once that was, like, uh, it was a post under, like, something that was going on in San Francisco. Obviously, that's a war zone, but, like, Dude, they were like, man, being homeless isn't how it used to be. It used to be awesome. I used to love living homeless. You saw comments under the thing. It was like, man, it was a shit. Being homeless from ni- in the nineties was a shit. Now, I, now, you know, now I things I have, have changed. Yeah, it's like crazy. Everybody was like, man, it used to be better. Even homeless people. And they have cell phones. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, that's a that's wacky, dude. We got another. I wonder how long I would hack it like that. Homeless. Just go camping. 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 <laughs> camping I was going to say your lamping. Family of man. <laughs> family of man with camping, man. Bam, 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 napkins. <laughs> napkins. I'll never forget meeting Eminem, and then that's what he did to me. That was the first thing he did to me, and it was so weird. I'll never forget him texting me to post this UFC thing, and I fucked up the text. Eminem texted you? Yeah. To do it? Yeah. What did he say? He, he, he did this bit how him and Dana had this fake beef to promote a fight, yeah. and he reached out to me. And I was like, holy shit, no doubt. You got it, man. But I was like in a rush trying to get to the studio. Yeah. And I put out the text, but I tagged the wrong UFC. It was like UFC whatever, 190-something. Uh-huh. It was like 191. I put 192. Yeah. I, I was like, there you go, man. He's like, wrong fucking UFC number. I was like, my bad, man. On the DMs? On the uh, text. Oh, you have his number? Yeah, not a big deal. Eminem's number? Yeah, dude. I don't. Call him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Must be of napkins. Hey, how's it going? Um, yeah, what a well, stupid right headline, now. you know? <laughs> that's Eminem calling right now. Oh, it says Marshall Mathers. All right, let's see. Chris, Brendan, Eric, I got another debate club for you. Modern inventions and innovations that make our life easier. What's the one you can't live without and why? Right now... I'm very thankful for an escalator and elevator. Oh, shit. Where is he? Whoa. Brazil? That looks like a favela. Uh, I mean, iPhone. Yeah. You know I, mean? I could do without phones. That ain't shit. Um, what do you mean? I hate cell phones. It's, it's better without cell phones. Right, but you need them for yeah, your but work. It's not my favorite thing. Okay. What is it? Flashlight? Yours is flashlight. Nah. Come on, dude. Nah, it gets too messy with the oil and stuff. You get someone to clean it. Fair point. Got technology? Get a butler to clean it. Get a butler just to clean your flashlight. Oh. Phil? <laughs> Again? He's on. I don't, what, do you, what do you think? Technology wise? What's the best technology? Uh, with a blow dryer. Um. For me, filtered water in a fridge. Gay. <laughs> it's oh, true, though. Dude. I hate getting water. Filtered water? Drink tap like water to, like a man, I don't man, like to buy dude. water from the, you know, bring a bunch of water. I just have it in the fridge. I drink the tap water, daddy. That's yeah. not. That's how you get fucking. Trying what, to turn I, gay like the frogs, dude. Yeah, bro. Teenage Mutant yeah. Ninja Turtle style. I'm trying to shrink my taint, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> um, Technology. Uh, iPhone. Nah, those suck, dude. Phones destroyed the world. I guess so. <laughs> they probably saved a lot of people's lives too, though. Uh, or killed a lot of people. Dude, uh, what the you can fuck, track man? them everywhere it's now. It's so weird that cell phones have just now they exist and like we can't live without them. Oh, you dude. could though. You're no, just, you're just we, a slave we to could. It. Yes, but we aren't going to. 
The problem was getting. I wanted to get rid of get a flip phone. The problem is nobody else has flip phones. I know. Like and we all got to commit to it if people, we're going to do it. People only text though, and don't talk. There are people that don't talk on the phone, and only text. Yeah. I I had a flip phone. I would take it on the road and not use my iPhone. And I was it's like, horrible, right? To text. Well, just yeah. I mean, but like, I was like, how do I? What do I? I talked to my wife like twice a day, rather than all day texting. You know, it's just weird, bro. So it was, dude. Get a BlackBerry. Yeah, are, are, do they? They still exist, right? I think. I don't so. know. They might be under. Those were lit because you see. Because I just needed to do work like emails. But and then, stuff. so what do you do for Instagram? You just have somebody run it and all that shit. Yeah. Or you just don't do it. You, you, well, you have to do it. I know, that's but I make enough money where you can get out. That's the ultimate top G move. You make so much money. Yeah. Go, hey, social media, I'm out. That's for sure what I would do if I was that's like the top Rogan G move. or something. Yeah. Me too. That's for sure. You I know, would like do Chappelle's the top G. He's not on social media. They didn't even announce his tour dates. When I see, yeah, that is. You can it. still get blackberries. No. No. Damn it. When I see when yeah, when I see people who are super rich on social media, it it's I guess people want to be like relevant or like show what they do. That's like, so stupid. That's just crazy to me, dude. I would be out of Like that Leonardo game. DiCaprio, no social media. Well, no, he Gangster. does. He does. What? Yeah, he posts like environmental shit. You know? Oh, that's somebody else posting. I'm just saying he's not on there gotcha. all the time. Like if I'm right. Rogan, no, so no, I know. I never, ever. Elon Musk, I'm all set. Gone. You own it. I know. I know. Own it and not be on it. Yeah. 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 Top G shit. Uh, Conor McGregor, he has, he's so famous, so rich, but he still loves to post all the time. It's crazy to me. He's younger and he likes to stay relevant in the he's fight not game. Not that much younger. He's, he's on third. cocaine all the time. Though. That's, that's, that's true, too. <laughs> that's why he's Twitter and cocaine is hell of a drug. He's got to be on cocaine, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, for sure. Okay. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a bummer. You went post just because you like, like, you, you have something funny? And you, uh, at my age now, no. No. If I was fucking rich as shit, like didn't didn't need to work another day. You would never see uh-uh. hear from me. Uh uh-uh. uh. I would still do. I wouldn't be on social I'd media. I'd still do a podcast twice a week. I'd do a podcast nah. and tour, and that's it. I do sh- uh, shows. I probably wouldn't do any. I might not do any more specials. I would probably just like do some shows sometimes. Yeah, like if my whiskey sold or something, I get paid a jagillion. I mean, a jagillion. I'm out. Lamp. I'm out. I'm <laughs> out. Napkins. Although you know, when it happened, it, when if it happens, maybe I wouldn't. You know, I, I just I think that I, I just there's so much stress involved with it. Like, dude, I'm only on Instagram. I I I have TikTok. I don't look at TikTok. I only look at Instagram. I don't look at Twitter. I don't have other. It's like it's better that way. I only look at Instagram. I, I was I used to look at everything all the time, switch back and forth, and it just made my fucking life stressful. What's it? What do you um, think? I'm just commenting down Leo's. Nick just shoots. Wow, love the departed. Love, he's oh, like, hey, dude, I'm talking love about Titanic, saving the world. But then <laughs> he's all about global warming, but he gets around a private jet. Save it. Huge fan, though. Save it. I don't know, man. It's like you help in some ways and you don't in others. That's just how humans are. I don't like when it's like, yeah, well, you do this, but your whole life isn't about it. It's like, dude, fly around on a private jet. You know how fucked up his life would be if he had to fly commercial? It would be a fucking... Nightmare. He it couldn't get through that. He wouldn't make the flight. <laughs> Do I talked about this on congratulations? Please chime in on this. I was on the plane. Sorry if you listen to both podcasts. I'm telling the story twice. I was on the plane coming back from Edmonton, and I had to stop in Seattle. So it was the flight was Edmonton to Seattle. Okay. All right. They don't have Wi-Fi on the plane for some fucking godforsaken reason. So okay? everything's down. No TV either. They didn't have TV either. And did you load up podcasts on your phone or Netflix? No, it was an hour 40 flight, whatever. Okay. That's so on, I'm like, all right, that's I'm, I'm going to okay. sleep. I don't care. I, yeah. I sleep. I'm Is like this. early morning flight? Um, No. Okay. So I'm like this. Hard to sleep. Okay. So I'm like this. But I actually was sleeping. I go like this. I'm a, I'm a, there's a woman next to me. The aisle. It's two and two. Prop plane. You're, she's in the aisle. You're on the she's window. She's in the aisle. I'm, in the window. I'm against the thing like this. I'm against the wall, right? Mm-hmm. Visibly sleeping. Sure. This is what happens next. She bumped you. In the aisle, some dude over her. Hey, man, are you the comedian? (gasps) Oh, no. I go like this. What? Yeah. 
Chris? <laughs> yeah. Can I get a picture? No. I'm sleeping, man. <laughs> Please? <laughs> I'm sleeping. <laughs> All right, sorry, man. <laughs> and then you're up the rest of the flight. Oh, because of because anger, of fury, blood curdling, I'm, yeah. and I'm like, and in my head, I'm like, oh, it sucks because I'm only hurting myself being this mad. I can't get back to sleep, but my anger just goes like this. Nah, fuck that though. We're gonna stay up and think about it. Oh, Did sorry. you take a picture with him when you got off the flight? Fuck no, dude. Yeah, you, you, oh, hard sleep? Yo, man. Yo, dog. Dude, if he came up to me again, I would have said, yo, bro, no, you woke me up in the middle of the fucking flight. And see, here's the thing, dude. That, that, I mean, everybody in here thinks that's fucked up, right? Yeah. Or am yeah, I wrong here? It's okay. completely fucked. He, if that why guy not went, wait to after the flight? If that guy went online and said, yo, Chris Lee was a dick to me, everyone would fucking flame me. Yeah. That's so rude. And I'm doing that when we get out of this podcast. <laughs> it's just so fucked up, dude. DJ, but, but to think about just, what, just think, dude. Did you really think waking a person up I, bro, was the and I route never, I, to go He doesn't here? know this, but I never sleep on flights. I was like, oh, man, so awesome, dude. I was so out that like two times I was like. Yeah, I love that. Like, yeah. we, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So <laughs> cool. You should have waited the whole time, watch, see if he falls asleep, wake him up, be like, you want that picture? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's insane. But here are the two fucked up things about it. Over, how, how were we going to take the picture? She, there was a woman in between us. Did he want me to get up and get out? Yeah, and do get it? up, get up. Number two, get your bitch ass up. Number two, this is the thing that really you know what a little bit of it. What? Top G moved by him. <laughs> the thing that really pissed me off was he did it on the way to go to the bathroom. It wasn't even for my own thing. Like he didn't even do it. Yeah. It was, it was like, oh, by him. the way, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuck this motherfucker, dude. Hey, but also Top G moved by that guy. <laughs> top G move, but fuck him, dude. That's the podcast name, Top G. <laughs> How fucked up is that? Is that is super fucked up. I, I, dude, it's been so long since somebody was so fucking rude. Not yet rude to me, but not like vocally like, fuck you, bro. Like, but like, you know, because sometimes you get in an altercation with somebody. But this was like, it was just like it's the, uh, the audacity. Yeah. You know what I mean? Guy wasn't raised right. That's it. <laughs> is that it, brother? Mm-hmm. All right. Spokane this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. As you're listening to this, I'll be in Yo City tonight. Spokane, one show Thursday to be. Friday. To Saturday. He's not coming. Bryce Daly in Coeur d'Alene, though. No. Holla at your boy. Spokane. Montreal uh, and Hamilton sold out. Pittsburgh, I'll be there. Cleveland, I'll be there. Detroit, Orlando, Fort Myers, Richmond, Virginia, Baltimore, Philadelphia, and Reading, Pennsylvania. Never heard I will of it. be there soon. Fake place. Nope. Why am I going to Reading? Woohoo! I'll be there. All right. Love you guys.